Good morning, my brothers and sisters, coming to you from the great Pacific Northwest. We truly serve an awesome God, a God who has created this great big world and created us as well. Each of us an individual in the stream, if you will, of, of billions, and yet he knows us by name. He knows the number of hairs on our head. He knows us to our inmost desire and loves us anyways as his creation. Praise God for that. A word of encouragement comes from a familiar passage, uh, probably uh, for, for some, the, the greatest passage in the Bible, but it's Psalms 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. What a great reminder of the fact that when we serve God, we have God's peace. When we serve God and do it His way, He brings to us peace and hope and love and joy and rest. Uh, God isn't wanting us to run around with our our like our heads are cut off like a chicken with his head cut off god wants us to enjoy uh, this time on earth it doesn't mean that everything's go well it doesn't mean that we don't have issues it doesn't mean that uh, we don't have struggles those are part of this world it does mean though that we find ourselves in his presence it does mean that he leads us to a place where we could find peace in the midst of turmoil it does um, remind us that his love is greater than all that we experience here on earth and he wants to take us down a path or lead us down a path that that leads to righteousness what an awesome god we serve and on top of that uh i, I know that we know this but for me thinking back to the fact that you know all that this says in light of the psalms um a psalm of king david long before jesus was born pointing ahead to the fact that there would be a restoration, pointing ahead to the fact that there would be eternal life that comes, pointing ahead to the fact that even though King David didn't know what was to come, he knew who God was. He knew Yahweh. He knew he, whom he was serving uh, and that that meant that eternity with God. And it meant peace on earth. Praise God for that. Praise God that at times he gives us uh, wisdom and understanding beyond ourselves uh, that look towards the future. And for us, we don't understand what heaven's all about. I get it. Uh, we don't understand what it's really going to be like. And, and uh, you know, we have all these different thoughts of what it could be. But the reality is we'll be with God for eternity. Uh, without sin, without all the things of this world, the evil that goes on, we'll be with him. Um, and we'll be changed and we'll be forever, um, you know, in that glorious um, eternity. And so praise God. Today, I don't know what you're going through. I don't know the things you're thinking about. I don't know what's on your heart or maybe weighing you down. Or, or maybe you're just having a great day today. Either way, let's remember that, that, that our peace comes from the Spirit, from the Spirit of God. That our peace comes from His leading and His guidance. And that we can find rest within Him. And let's have a great day. And let's share that with others. Um, Father God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your peace that comes. We thank you, God, that if we follow your Spirit, that you lead us down a path of rest and righteousness and relaxation and hope and help and and all the things that we love that doesn't mean lord of course that we won't be without our <clears throat> problems or issues or struggles uh there may be some watching today dealing with um terminal issues or, or or big struggles and those type of things that we don't even know about but father we trust that you are that you know and that you're in charge we put them in your hands and we trust lord that you have a plan and whatever that plan is we know oh god that as long as we follow you uh everything is going to work out just fine and so, Lord, we offer ourselves up to you today. We pray, Lord, that you would use our lives to be a beacon of light to others. We pray, Lord, that you would give us your wisdom um, and help us to, to guide us and lead us that others might see your great love. And we'll be careful to give you the praise. Father, please bless those with special needs today, whether they're physical, uh, mental, emotional, uh, financial, even spiritual, whatever the case. Bless them right where they're at, that they might sense your presence and come to know Jesus or be drawn closer to Jesus. Father, we ask these things in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, there you have it. God loves you. Hey, uh, we love you as well. We want you to have a blessed day and feel God's peace. Uh, today is Friday. That means Sunday is just a couple days away, as we all know. Um, if you haven't been invited to church lately, we'd like to invite you to join us. If you're in the Everett area, join us at Everett First Church of the Nazarene. If you're not in the Everett area, um, you're welcome to join us online on our Facebook Live page, uh, Everett First Church of the Nazarene at uh, 11 a.m. Uh, if 
you can't join us there, then we will try to upload the service to our YouTube channel, Sermons by Pastor Aaron, later on in the day. Either way, uh, we'd love to have you worship with us. We'd love to meet you in person if possible and spend that time with you. But just know that God loves you. And if you can't worship with us, find a local church close to you that you can worship with the people of God. God bless. Have a great day. Uh, we'll see you soon.